All right, so in today's video, I am finally bringing you guys quite possibly the best build in NBA 2K23. Now, I didn't want to make this video. I didn't want to have to bring this build out, but everyone and their mother and their grandmother is making a build similar to this. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to end up making one and I might as well post a video on it. So the position, as you guys can tell, is a point guard and let's get right into the height. So the height will be six foot nine now when it comes to the weight you guys could kind of you know mess around with this but i personally went with 206 pounds and the wingspan will be seven one i for the body shape i believe i went with slight or compact e either way you, you guys know it's personal preference let's get right into the attributes and the re i'm gonna explain to you guys the reason why i think this is the this is the best 6-9 build in the game. All right, so for the finishing category, that's what it's looking like. We got the 80 close shot, the 85 driving layup, the 93 driving dunk, and a 75 standing dunk. So yeah, pretty much when it comes to the finishing category, I mean, you get 19. Obviously, you guys get that plus 4, maybe even a plus 5 if you, you know, are level 39 already. But as you guys could tell, 19 finishing badges is absolutely crazy. Now, let's move on to the shooting section. So for the shooting category, this is what we are looking like. We have a 78 mid-range and an 85 three-pointer. That is good enough for Silver Limitless. That is good enough to shoot from anywhere on the court. 66 free throw as well. That's good enough to green in, you know, rec center and all that. So that's the shooting category done. All right. So when it comes to the playmaking category, I'm going to stress one thing. Please listen to me when I say this. You need at least a 75 speed with ball. The best dribble style in this game as of right now is Michael Jordan. And if you are not using Michael Jordan, if you go below that 75 speed with ball threshold, you will ruin your build. Do not make that mistake. So right there, as long, whatever build that you guys make, whatever version you guys make of this build with wingspan and weight and all that, make sure that you get that 75 speed with ball. I'm telling you, it is very, very crucial. Right, that's what the defensive category is looking like. Obviously, maybe this is not, you know, the most ideal part of the build, but remember guys, you're six foot nine with a seven one wingspan. I mean, you have great perimeter D, great steel, a high block. The interior D could use some work. The rebounding maybe could use some work. But keep in mind, guys, this is an offensive powerhouse of a build. So either way, you're gonna be fine. All right, so for the physicals, that's what the physicals are looking like. 82 speed, 78 acceleration, 82 strength. 82 vertical and a 95 stamina. Keep in mind, guys, that 82 strength is good enough to get you silver bully. Keep in mind, as I said, bully is a great badge, but posterizer, I think, is even better of a badge. And this, this build is just absolutely wild. I mean, maybe there are ways to, you know, get more badges and all that if you guys care about that. But to me personally, this is the best version of this build. The three ball is amazing. The ball handling is amazing. The defense is really good. Strength is there, driving dunks at a 93. So yeah, let's move on to the next part. So for takeovers, as you guys know me, I like having, you know, shooting at takeovers. So I decided to go with limitless range and pull up precision. All right, so for the name of the build, I think it's pretty sick. Inside out score, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, shades of Lonzo and Lamelo. I thought that was kind of cool. So let's go put on some badges. All right, so when it comes to the finishing badges, we're looking at Silver Acrobat. Bronze Aerial Wizard, Silver Fearless, Silver Limitless Takeoff. I decided to core my posterizer and have that Silver Bully on. Now, again, keep in mind, guys, that if you, you know, get that uh, plus four badges, you can actually put them all on finishing. I don't believe I remember what I put it on, but there we go for the finishing category. All right, so for the shooting, as you guys can tell, we're rocking Gold Amped, Bronze Claymore, and Silver Volume, Gold Green Machine, Silver Agent 3. Deadeye will also be on silver, and then I decided to core my limitless range at silver. Again, as I will say, you guys do have the plus four badges or possibly plus five if you're already a level 39, but this is what it's going to be looking like. And also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but coring badges in this game is like a legend grind in itself. It's absolutely wild. So don't expect to be able to core posterizer and limitless off rip. It'll take you some time. I tell you right now, it'll take you a lot of time. All right, so now for the playmaking category, we're going with Silver Floor General, Gold Quick First Step, Bronze Vice Grip, Bronze Bailout. Decided to core my handles for days for obvious reasons. You know, stamina in this game is a bit eh. Unpluckable is on gold because as of right now, if you're not using Unpluckable at all, I mean, me personally, I don't think Unpluckable actually matters in this game, but if you're not 
using Unpluckable, good luck. You're getting ripped every single time. Now for the last category of defending. We have Bronze Box Albies, Bronze Glove, Bronze Workhorse, uh, Bronze Clamps, Silver Interceptor, and Silver Chase Anars. I don't know why it didn't core my Interceptor. And let me just uh, let me just make this a bit better. I'm going to go actually probably Challenger. I heard this badge is pretty good. But um, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Silver Challenger. All right, fellas, we are on the build. And right now, I'm going to show you guys my animations that I'm using as of right now. So dribble style. Okay, so just just give me one second. You guys, you guys know how it is. and They always just love, you know, changing all the animations. So give me one second. All right, there we go. Now we're looking good. Dribble style is Michael Jordan. De'Aaron Fox, six size up. John Wall, size up escape, pro, size up escape package. Pro moving crossover. Zach Levine behind the back. Penny Hardaway moving spin. Moving Hezzy is going to be KD. Moving step back normal. Normal, none, and then LeBron James for the pass style. Very important, by the way. LeBron James is a great pass style. So those are my animations. Now I'm going to quickly show you guys my jump shot. If you guys, you know, if you guys watch any of my uh, other videos, you guys will probably know what this one is. So right now I am using LaMelo Bay's Rudy Gay Kobe Bryant. But honestly, after further using this, I'm actually going to switch to the original jump shot that I showed you guys back in that other video. So... As you guys know, I told you guys a bunch of the uh, bunch of the new jump shots and and you know what what jump shots you should be using. And if you guys watch that video, you guys will know that I was using Kyle Kuzma base, one of the best bases in the game, probably the best base for like a lockdown and and you know like a spot up like a stretch. So those are the uh, those are the blendings if you guys want to use this base and the jump shot. I love you guys, man. I hope you guys enjoy this build. I mean, it's very toxic, but without further ado, you guys have a great one.